Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, we've got alarms going off like crazy. Uh, red alert, red alert, warning, warning, warning. Radioactive, radioactive, radiation, plutonium spilling into the air. It's happening at, once again, the Hanford Nuclear Site out there in Washington State. Two air monitor alarms went off as the demolition area of the Hanford site of the plutonium finishing plant is causing workers to take cover less than a month after the tunnel collapsed at Rich Richland's Washington facility, the Hanford nuclear site. It, and according to the Department of Energy, it, the, it's a contagious, excuse me, a continuous air monitoring alarms went off and they won't go off. They just keep just going. Um, the demolition crews in the area then immediately had to stop working and ran to take cover as a precaution. Well, it's not a precaution. It's because there's an imminent threat of radiation. Uh, they applied adhesive paint as a fixture material that is used as a part of the demolition to control the contamination. Uh, and so they're pouring this paint and they're trying to contain this thing. Uh, but here's the deal. The Hanford site then tweeted on Twitter, contamination is expected in the demol demolition area. And the air monitors are one of the tools used to ensure employees are protected. So in other words, we know it's going to happen. And we got monitors out there, and if they go off, then it's radiation's hit a high spike. We need to run, we need to take cover. Now, crews found radioactive contamination as they were removing a gallery glove box in a demolition area that was used to process plutonium throughout the Cold War. So here it is. 73 years later, 65 years later, whatever. These gloves, this glove box still glowing with radiation. Um, unbelievable. The recovery crews have entered the area. They've been conducting additional surveys or applying additional uh, fixtures. Uh, they're trying to mitigate any further contamination from spreading. Would you like to be the guy doing that? The contamination was found on the stairs to the mass station where workers put on protective gear. According to the King's Susanna Frame. Uh, also, no injuries have been reported. It's way too early to know that. But certainly, uh, this is a dangerous situation taking place in Hanford Nuclear Site. I won't apologize. In the last video, I was trying to tell you about the new television stations that we're on. Today, starting tonight, we're going on three new television stations, all in Arkansas. Tonight we'll be on KVTN Little Rock at 7 p.m. Central. We'll also be on KVTH Hot Springs, Arkansas and KVTJ Jonesboro slash Memphis, Tennessee. All, all three channels airing the same time, 7 p.m. Eastern, the coming, excuse me, 7 p.m. Central. 7 p.m. Central, The Coming Apocalypse. And we'll also be on those same three channels on Saturday nights at 5.30 p.m. Again, that's Little Rock, Arkansas, Hot Springs, Arkansas, and Jonesboro slash Memphis. Covering the entire state of Arkansas on uh, the new uh, television stations we're on. Of course, many of you can see us on some of the other stations. We're already on channel uh, uh, Direct TV. On Sunday nights on Direct TV at 10:30, channel 367. Also, uh, uh, Indianapolis, we're on channel uh, WHMB, channel 46, Indianapolis, every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Also, WHME, uh, South Bend, Indiana, every Sunday night at 10:30 p.m. Eastern. Also, WHNO, New Orleans, Louisiana, every Sunday night at 11 p.m. Central. Also, KWHB Tulsa, Oklahoma, every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Uh, Central. 
and KWHS, Colorado Springs, Colorado, every Sunday night at 1030 Mountain, and KWHE, Honolulu, Hawaii, every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Uh, Honolulu time uh, in the evening. And then, of course, we're on WTGL, Channel 45, Orlando, Florida, every Wednesday afternoon at 12.30 p.m. That's where the Coming Apocalypse television shows are airing, and we're just glad to announce that we are uh, in this new area. We're actually taking the actual time slot of the great um, Jack Van Impey, who just retired. And so this will be the first program for all those uh, Jack Van Impey followers. Um, uh, sorry he won't be there tonight. I'll be there, but... We hope to help continue to bring forth the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. And it is quite an honor to be walking and, and trying to fill, it's impossible to fill the shoes of the great Jack Van Impey, but we will try our best in these last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Everything's getting chaotic. Time is running out. I'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. I'll be live at my website at paulbakeleyprophecy.com. That's 10 p.m. Eastern, special late edition, The Great Late Show. It's going to be powerful. We're going to talk about all my, we've got all kinds of stuff. You won't believe there's an outbreak of mumps, there's solar flares, there's earthquakes in Hawaii, there's the James Comey testimony. What? 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 <laughs>